you bring, if you have a weapon, if you're going to take advantage of permitless carry, uh, remember the criteria for permitless carry is the same criteria as it is for obtaining a CHL. So if you come to the airport and you get uh, caught at TSA through screen checkpoint, it will be a class A misdemeanor. You will more than likely be arrested. It's going to ruin your trip uh, wherever you were going. We'd rather inform you and educate you that even though it's permitless carry, the same places that were off limits before are off limits on July 1st, and that includes air airport passenger terminals. Okay, you have been warned. That was the Tampa International Airport Police Chief explaining that carrying a gun through a checkpoint uh, with or without the permit, still a crime. Yep, starting July 1st, there is a new law that will allow people to carry guns without a concealed weapons permit, and now police are preparing for these changes. So let's get to it. Lots of cover here. CBS News Miami's Nicole Lawrence. She's live at Miami-Dade Police Headquarters in Doral. Nicole, break down exactly what this new law states and what police are saying about it. Yeah, police admitting they do have some concerns about this new law and what's to come. But before we get into that, let's first talk about exactly what permitless and carry is and what it entails. So take a close look at your screen here. Starting July 1, people will not have to apply for a permit. They will not have to get a background check and they will not have to take an instructional course. So just to note, gun owners will still not be able to carry concealed weapons in places, as you just heard, in airports, courts, schools, and other places where gun possession is still restricted or it's banned. Also, do remember, open carry is still very illegal in Florida in most circumstances. So now let's talk about the eligibility requirements for this because they still remain the same and they are still in effect for the state of Florida. Some of those include being 21 years old, a legal U.S. citizen, a permanent Florida resident. You cannot be an unlawful user or addicted to controlled substances substances, you cannot have a disqualifying condition. That means things like a felony charge, a misdemeanor, or an injunction. Now, we spoke with the director of the Miami-Dade Police Department, Freddie Ramirez, who says there are, of course, concerns when it comes to this law. We always assume in any situation uh, the potential there being a firearm, but now this adds that extra component. Um, there's a component of education, and there could be misunderstandings between the community and law enforcement when responding to calls for service in terms of the role of that firearm in certain situations. That's why education is key for both law enforcement and the community with this new law. And Chief of the City of Doral Police Department, Edward Lopez, also very much agreeing with that statement and noting this is also going to change the way they police and how they interact and engage with people in the community. Lopez saying they will place a bigger emphasis on interpersonal training and de-escalation techniques. Uh, a regular traffic dispute or a road rage incident or a dispute at a park playing a basketball game or whatnot now potentially can elevate into something a lot more egregious and serious um, because folks may be armed already so as law enforcement officers responding to these types of calls for service or incidents uh, we need to be extremely aware and use precaution because we know that a situation may escalate really rapidly and Lopez also agreeing with Director Ramirez, really stressing the importance of education as well as training. We're live in Doral. Nicole Lawrence, CBS News, Miami.